Hello, I'm Terrell Johnson, a ninth grade student at Brush High School with AVTV Productions. Joining me today is Coach Mason. Thank you for being here, Coach Mason. Thanks for having me. Coach Mason, what is your co coaching philosophy and how's it evolved since starting the team? Um, coming in three years ago, the whole program and the whole, we said we was going to trust the process. So that's, that's been our staple, our, our program with our team. And the philosophy is you got to play defense. Like, I know a lot of coaches have different things, but here we're hard-nosed defensive program. You said you came in three years ago. Mm -hmm. Have the players changed over time? Like, have you seen different players? Yes. I mean, of course, you get growth. So guys coming in as ninth graders are now totally different as seniors. Guys coming in as um, ninth graders, as juniors now, are totally different. You see the growth in them uh, physically, mentally, and, I mean, the IQ of the game. So it's a whole bunch of things we'll be here all day talking about. What are some lessons you've gained yourself from coaching? Um, every player is different. No player is the same, so you got to be able to coach. If you got 17 guys, 15 guys, you got to be able to coach 17 or 15 different type of um, strategies, if I per se, strategies or um, ways to reach the, reach, their play, reach the player, reach the kid. Um, so, I mean, it, everyone is different. What got you interested in coaching, and has it been rewarding? Um, well, I'm, I'm a retired professional player, so I'm, basketball was my life as a youth, as a um, teenager, as a college player, and then as an adult. So it, it, once you play basketball that long and it's, it's part of your life, it's hard to walk away. So, I mean, I don't play it no more as far as on a professional level. So I, I, um, coaching became an option because so, I still wanted to be around the game. So that's how I ended up coaching. That's good. In your opinion, what are some qualities that you feel make a great player? Um, first, you got to have high character because the, the greats always have really good character. Then you got to have a work ethic like none other. You got to be able to work because you want to get better. You want to you wanna master your craft. You want to be the best at what you do. So them two qualities, I really believe, makes great players. So you feel as if talent can be hard work, but hard work can be talent if it's working hard. Yes. Hard work beats talent every day of the week. That's good. How do you feel about the St. Ed's game? Uh, it was a good game. It was a good game for our school district, our community, our fans, our students, our staff. Um, they they actually got a chance to see wh what our young man been doing this whole these past three years, and that's been pitting in work. So now you get a, a program like St. Edwards to come in that's supposed to be one of the top pro elite programs, not just in the state, but people recognize them around the country, and they come to your gym and you're able to compete at the highest level and able to pull a win out that was um, sensational. So, I mean, it was, it was a big thing. It was a great win. It's not our goal, per se, is to be St. Ed's and then that's the championship for us. No. My, my um, players have a goal, a lofty goal, and they want to they wanna do something special. So St. Ed's was just a, what, what would I say, a bump in the road. So you, you run over that bump, you keep going. What are some things that the players teach you? Um, you learn something every day. You learn something every day. I mean, the different, um, what I would say, swag, the different um, vocabulary, the different music, you know, and you got to be well rounded. Like I tell people, I'm, uh, I'm, I don't want to be that coach that just, that's out of tune, that don't know what's going on. I want to know what's going on, so I listen to the music. I, I, I understand the language, I mean not the language, but the, the um, conversation that the young people are having now. I understand um, the swag, the gear and all that because, you know, you want to be in tune, you want to be well-rounded with this culture stuff, just in my opinion. You got some coaches that think different. I think for me, per se, is I like that style of culture. Do you think that the swag that goes on, do you think that it could help the team and build the team to be better? Um, I believe so. I mean, what I tell them, you, you look good, you play good, you play good, you, you win. And swag is part of the look. Swag is part of how they carry themselves. Um, confident, 
Now, I'm not saying be cocky. You always stay humble, but you still can be confident and be humble at the same time. Thank you, Coach Mason, for being here. Uh, thanks, thanks for having me. And again, um, I want to give a big shout out to AVTV, uh, Brush, the high school, the community. Um, we came out this past Tuesday, and I think it was a beautiful thing. Um, our fans, our student section was amazing. It was on fire, and it's being talked around, about around Ohio right now. So I want to encourage everybody to keep coming out and supporting um, these young men on the varsity basketball team have something special to give. They're, 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 they're really in tune. They're locked in. I think it's going to be a fun ride. So everybody just keep supporting. Go Arcs. Go Arcs.